Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to create and control lookup lists in Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the last video. We have a simple order management system with products, customers, their orders, and details. We can search and edit customers and products as well as enter orders for them in a couple different ways. Let's run the application real quick to show you where we are. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a customer and let's go ahead and open up one of the orders. Now you'll notice when we're editing, editing or adding any of these line items, you'll see that we've got this autocomplete box here. And you'll notice that we have all of our products listed, but they're not in any particular order. And so what we really want to do is we want to display these in alphabetical order. We also have them have it displayed below here. Also, uh, the autocomplete box is pretty cool because you can just start typing and it will automatically match the items that are coming down from the database. Sometimes we have a lot of um, related records here, a lot of, of uh, items, a lot of products in the system um, that should be in our lookup table. And so sometimes an autocomplete box could get pretty sluggish if there were thousands of rows. So we could also control the way we display the lookup list data as well. And we could change this to a modal window picker that allowed the user to do more advanced search. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do to control lookup lists. We can create queries to change the order of items and, and eliminate and filter items, as well as change the control on the screen. So let's go ahead and see how we can do a couple things. Okay, so first let's recap and walk through how we set up the related product table that serves as our lookup list in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the order details entity here by double clicking. Now, here you can see that there is a one-to-many relationship between the product and the order detail. This means that when we are entering the order detail line items on an order, LightSwitch will automatically create that autocomplete box for the product property, which allows us to select this product and associate it with the order detail. So let's add a new field into the product um, that we can um, create base a query on. Basically what I want to do is add a field that indicates whether the product is discontinued or not. And then we can create a query that sorts the products and also filters out any that are discontinued. So let's just say is discontinued okay and that will be a, a boolean Okay, and is discontinued, we could just, we can change the name, um, the, sorry, the display, I want to change to just add a question mark at the end, because it'll end up like a checkbox on the screen. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to add um, a query. Okay, so we want to add a query, and you'll notice that in a previous video, we also, cre we created this sorted products query already. So what I want to do is I want to just add uh, an additional filter into this um, sorted products, but I want to create it as a new query. So I'm going to right click and add query, or since we're already here in the designer, we can go up to the button and, cr and click add query. Now I'm going to just say this is going to be um, current, products because I want to filter out any that are discontinued but we want to base this instead of on the entire table we want to base this on the sorted products okay so it'll be sorted already because we're basing it on sorted products now we just had to have to add our additional filter whoops just one um, and is discontinued equals false okay so that would be our current products okay so let's just save that so now in order to use this um, query on the screen we were just on, we just need to open up the uh, order header detail. That's where we were. And we've got a couple places that we were, um, we were choosing products on the screen. One here is in the order detail grid itself, and one is below in the selected item, the, the item that was underneath the grid. Okay, so all we do to, to get this new query is we um, have to add it to the screen first, so select Add Data Item, select Query, and then you'll see it here in the list, the, oh, it's up at the top, Current Products at the top, okay? Okay, so now what we do is when we select the, uh, the control here, we can go and 
choose what's called choices and you'll see that it's selected to, it's set to auto right now and now you can select current products you can also do that for here current products now notice LightSwitch is smart enough we've got a couple queries on the screen actually if we had even more queries on here maybe we have like products without description we could add that here okay we could actually have um, multiple things to choose from. So, for instance, we go back here, we have current products, and now we have products without description. LightSwitch is smart enough to only display things here in the dropdown that are returning the product, the correct type, which would be product in my case. Okay, so we don't actually uh, need this on the screen. We're just going to use current products. Okay, so the other options that we have here, instead of this autocomplete box that we've got, is we can actually use a modal window picker. So I'm going to change the control down here. We'll leave it like that up at the top, but I'm going to demonstrate how we can create a modal window picker instead. Okay, the other thing you can do is you can, if we had a lot of products coming down, we could specify the number of, of products to bring down at once. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we've done. Okay, so in order to uh, make sure our uh, filter is working, let's just go ahead and edit one of our products and mark one of them as uh, discontinued. Okay, and save that. Okay, and now we, let's go ahead and open up an order. And now when we edit or add, we can see that our autocomplete box has uh, alphabetical order and it's only showing the current products. Um, you also notice that I've got the different control here, a modal window picker instead, if we want to use that. Okay, so then we can do searches. All right, so that's how you can create and control lookup lists in Visual Studio Lite Switch. Thanks again.